amplifier clipping. A lot of people worry about that, so I thought I would address this question, and it comes to us from Bo in Denmark. Bo writes, Hi Paul, thank you for all your answers. I really uh, like the, the format of your short videos clarifying how complex subjects work. Thank you. I appreciate that, Bo. My question is about low-powered amplifiers and clipping. You told uh, us that the tweeter can be damaged if it clips, but is it only if you play the amplifier, let's say, above 75% of its performance? Can you damage the speaker if you just want to try the setup and play below 50% of the performance of the amplifier? Well, that's, well, that's not all that complicated, but it's also, it has a lot of nuance to the question. So in, just to, you know, keep it short. No, 75% of the amplifier, 50% of the amplifier, no problem whatsoever. You are not going to clip the amplifier. So let's talk about what clipping means. Clipping is when the top of the sine wave gets cut off or the top of the music gets clipped. I mean, and the reason it came up, uh, well, the word clipped is used is because if you were to look at a sine wave, it's this nice, uh, picture, you know, uh, an up, uh, a, a C turned, you know, on its side, and you have this nice, uh, smooth, round thing. And as it keeps going higher and higher and higher, at one point it runs out of steam and it just clips it off. It's like you took the top of the sine wave with a pair of scissors and you went and you clipped it off, and now there's a straight line. Well, that straight line is full of high frequencies at high power, and High frequencies at high power can damage a tweeter if, especially, I mean, and, and, and don't get me wrong, this isn't always true, but it's less true today than it used to be. Used to be, tweeters were very delicate, they didn't have any protection, and today, many tweeters have little, you know, uh, polyfuses in them and things to protect them. But in any case, you do want to be careful. And you don't want to listen to clipping anyway, right? Especially at higher frequencies. It can be kind of nasty sounding, but clipping is when we run out of voltage on a power amplifier. So internally on a power amplifier, we have so many volts. Let's say we have 70 volts. It's going uh, you know, between point A and point B, which is 70. As the sine wave gets bigger and bigger, at some point it's gonna, it can't get any bigger because it's, it's already hit that 70 volt mark and then it runs out of steam and it clips. So when we rate an amplifier, let's say this amplifier. So this amplifier, this is a BHK something. What is it? That's a stereo. So that's a stereo 250 amplifier. So what we do is if you look at the back of, uh, or I'm sorry, if you look at the specs of this amplifier, you'll see that it is rated at 250 watts per channel into eight ohms and I think it's 500 watts, wh whatever, into four. If you look and you'll see that at that rating, it'll give a distortion figure, okay? So it'll say 250 watts at eight ohms with a distortion of 0.2%, 1%, okay? That means that of that rating, you can go all the way up to 250 watts. There's no clipping. The distortion is starting to go up a little bit, but that's okay. It's not yet clipping. So amps are typically not rated at their clipping point. They're rated at just the point below where clipping is going to begin. And as it begins, the distortion starts to rise up until it actually clips, and now we're at 10, 20% distortion. But below the point of rated power, you're still not clipping. You're still okay. Your tweeter is still fine, okay? So, to answer your question specifically about amplifier clipping, yeah, you can use a 50 watt amp or a 75 watt amp or a 100 watt amp, use it all the way up to that point. It's when you exceed that point that you start to get into trouble. So I hope that kind of answered your question. And I really wouldn't worry about it, but it, you know my stance, go big or go home, right? <laughs> go with a big amplifier if you can. And if you can't, that's all right. Don't stress about it. You'll hear clipping, especially if it's going to be to the point of damaging a tweeter. And that's usually pretty loud. So 
All right. I, uh, I appreciate the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.